Welcome back one final time, and that pretty much wraps it up. The big sale is coming up, and you know, once again, not just you two joining me right now. We have a whole group joining us, yes. and they're going to have a big day coming up here on November the 1st. That's right. The sale begins at 9 o'clock. The actual sale part begins at 930. Come with your money ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> and as you have seen from some of the mm -hmm. stories that we have done, this is a 24-7, 365 day affair. I mean, these kids get up with the animals, feed mm -hmm. the animals, go to school, come back. It's just amazing. All right, Anna, you've, the sale's coming up. This is what you've been working for this whole year. What do you think? It's hard sometimes, but once you do it for a while, you understand that you have to, so you get used to it. Yes. And that means because once that animal shows, you have to say goodbye. Yes, sir. <laughs> but you understand that's just the cycle of life. It, I love yes, it. Sir. All right, Lily, how about you? You're excited about the, the auction? Yes, sir. I am. Okay. It should be a pretty good day for everybody. You, you put in a huge amount of work, time, and effort. Yes, sir. Is it worth doing, Lily? Yes, sir. It's, it's definitely worth doing. What makes it worth it? the friendships you make with everybody yes. and getting to meet people that you wouldn't normally meet. I hear that a lot, Jan. It's it's the animals, they get attached to these animals. It is hard to say goodbye, but the attachments and the friendships sometimes that last for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's hard for us to say goodbye to you tonight as well, but thank you for joining us for Raised in Louisiana. We do have some goats here, but we also have some goats here, the greatest of all time. <laughs> thank you and good night from the fair and Raised in in Louisiana. <laughs> Raised in Louisiana. Brought to you by KTBS 3, Goldman Equipment, Kilpatrick Roseneath Funeral Homes, Louisiana Land Bank, and Arklatex Agricultural Council.